The Women's World Cup starts in, what, two days? Um, And I have a thesis. We're going to see how this thesis plays itself out. I am going to pick right now every single game that is played on uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay? My thesis is this. I know nothing really about the Women's World Cup at all. I know the U.S. women's players decently. I know it's not going to shock you, I don't think. I know hardly anything about the Women's World Cup players on other teams. In fact, I'm not even sure I can name any woman who doesn't play on the U.S. women's soccer team. Okay? So I am doing this completely blind. Here is my thesis. We will see how I do. I don't even know how these teams rank. I am going to predict who wins every Women's World Cup match based solely on whether I believe women have more or less freedoms in the countries. That is, my thesis here is that the Women's World Cup is not actually a measure of women's athleticism so much as it is a measure of which countries have freedom around the world. And remember, these are the countries that are already among the freest because a lot of other countries never qualified because my argument here is if women don't have basic human rights, they certainly aren't able to excel at soccer. Okay? So I am picking every game right now. We'll see how I do. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, based solely on which countries give women more human rights, okay? New Zealand versus Norway. This is a tough one because I think both of these countries are super left-wing, and I would presume, although I don't know off the top of my head, that you can probably have an abortion in both New Zealand and Norway up to when a kid is two years old. By the way, that is a joke. All right? That is a joke. They only allow you to have abortions up to one year old in New Zealand and Norway. Again, a joke. They'll pull this uh, clip. But I am going to say that Norway wins. I'm going to say that Norway wins as uh, the country that provides more human rights to women. I think also, to be fair a little bit, it's a bigger country, I think, than New Zealand. So I'm picking Norway. Australia versus Ireland, I'm picking Australia as the winner. Nigeria versus Canada, not a challenge. Canada's going to win this Women's World Cup match. The Philippines versus Switzerland, again, not a challenge. Switzerland is going to win. Spain versus Costa Rica, Spain is going to win this one. All right, I've picked the first five winners here. I don't know what the odds are. I can't even name you a woman who's playing on either team. Five winners, Thursday and Friday, based only on which country does women, do women have more human rights. United States versus Vietnam. I mean, come on. The U.S. is going to win this one. Zambia versus Japan. Japan wins. England versus Haiti. England wins. Denmark versus China, Denmark wins, all right? That's every game, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, only rating who's going to win other than the United States women. I don't even know a single player, only based on which country has more human rights. Sweden versus South Africa, Sweden wins. Netherlands versus Portugal, I have no idea. I'm going to say the Netherlands has more freedom because I think prostitution is legal in the Netherlands. I'm not sure that it's legal in Portugal. Therefore, the Netherlands gets the win. And then France against Jamaica, I'm taking France. And you know what? I probably should go through... uh, I probably should go through... Well, let's stop there. All right? That is every match. Let's see what time these other games are being played. Yeah, I'll have time to pick the rest. All right? I have picked for you... You want to play a parlay. This is a human rights parlay. 
Norway, Australia, Canada, Switzerland, Spain, U.S., Japan, England, Denmark, Sweden, and the Netherlands, and France. Those are my winners. I know nothing about women's soccer at all. Just that the country with more human rights is going to have the better women's soccer team. Why do I bring this up? Because Megan Rapino and all the super left-wing U.S. women's soccer players would actually do an incredible global service if they would talk about American exceptionalism and endorse basic human rights for everybody in those countries by saying, hey, this is who's going to win, all right? All they have to do is, I think, just pick the country where women have the most rights, all right? I just picked all of those different, let's say that is a American exceptionalism parlay. You can join me and bet Norway, Australia, Canada, Switzerland. Should I look? Should I look now that I've made the pick? Maybe I should look now that I've made the picks. Let me see if I can get lines um, on these soccer matches. And I'm actually just curious whether uh, this comports with what I would expect. Uh, All right. I took uh, Norway over New Zealand. um, And let's see. Norway is the favorite. That was smart. I'm going to play all these. I'm going to do a parlay. Uh, Australia against Ireland. Australia is the big favorite. Nigeria against Canada. Canada, the big favorite. Philippines against Switzerland. Switzerland, big favorite. Spain against Costa Rica. Spain, monster favorite. United States against Vietnam. United States, monster favorite. Japan, monster favorite over Zambia. England, monster favorite over Haiti. Denmark, big favorite over China. Sweden, big favorite over South Africa. And the Netherlands, based on my astute analysis of knowing that prostitution was legal there, a big favorite over Portugal. And France, a monstrous favorite over Jamaica. So I, without knowing anything other than basic human rights, just picked the favorite in every Women's World Cup match without knowing a single player playing other than on the U.S. women's team. Shouldn't that be a big story? Don't you think that's an incredible story? You can pick almost every match winner in the Women's World Cup just by picking the side that has more basic human rights. It doesn't, by the way, apply in the Men's World Cup because the Men's World Cup features all sorts of talented players from all around the world because men, even in repressive countries, if they are star athletes, have a lot of success. See if that clip goes viral. I'm going to play this as soon as I finish with you the parlay, the basic human rights parlay freedom, and we'll see if my picks on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday hit. And tomorrow, I will share with you what that parlay plays.